Hi everyone, welcome, welcome, welcome. You may recall, I said I was gonna wean my daughter very soon. Well, this is the video to talk about weaning. Whether it's a first or 15th, there comes a point that you either weaning or you let the kid self wean. I think I've mentioned that before. With my first, she refused to be on the breast. So I wanted to breastfeed her so bad. And then first day at the hospital, she's like, nope, don't want it. Mm -mm. So I spent 10 months pumping and eventually I didn't have enough milk for her So not only was I on Domperidone, which is the common medication for milk production But also I was substituting with formula because I wasn't making nearly enough milk for how much she could eat Eventually the only thing I did was more formula less breast milk more formula less breast milk more formula less milk. Eventually it was all formula and when she turned one I just switch right to homo milk and she's been on it ever since no problems there wasn't really an extra effort for me to do that because she had already done it by herself from day one a common problem is the transition to homo milk or soy milk or whatever other milk that's not formula or breast milk is that they don't want to take it well usually it's because they're not used to it so they don't like it a transition phase would be a good idea so you would mix for example the formula or breast milk with that new milk you're trying to introduce and reduce the old one and increase the new one until the end and see if they like it if they don't like at all it might be they don't like the homo milk or they don't like the soy milk so you might want to try a variety of different milk i'll tell you my experience with that in a second yeah that's all you can do eventually they would either like it or not care for it at all so everybody have their likes and dislikes yeah some show up earlier than others moving on to my son well he was interesting he only wanted breast milk no bottles no cp cups early on he just wanted to be on mama's breast all day every day like 35 times a day he was on the breast sucking up milk i was so engorged in the beginning it's ridiculous when came one year old mark i noticed when i was putting him on the breast he was more interested in what was going on out there than eating so i'm like why am i putting myself through that so i basically from one day to the next gave him a sippy cup with homo milk and he took he didn't like it so i tried a few other milk products and he's like no i don't want it i tried homo milk with honey because you know he was one nope don't want it sugar nope the nesquik strawberry thing mm -mm. Chocolate, mm -mm. plain milk, mm -mm. warm milk, no, cold milk, no. So I tried soy milk, other types of milk. Mm -mm. He didn't want any of that. So for a few months there, his only dairy intake was cheese and yogurt, all types of yogurt, lots and lots of yogurt, but no milk. So eventually, I started mixing the milk with the yogurt, and I don't know. Overnight, he decided that he liked milk. So now he's always drinking milk. He's always asking me for milk, and that's a whole year later. So be patient with the kids. Sometimes it's just they don't have the palate for it just yet. It will come. He was about 13 or 14 months when I. He weaned him well basically he weaned himself because he was starting to be all distracted kind of coming and going on the breast biting me which was like mm -mm, we're stopping now let's move on to my daughter now that she's officially weaned she from the get-go bottles formula breast milk just bring it fit it to me it was easier in a sense to wean her but again just like my son she kind of started to show less interest she was like all distracted she would just be playing with my nipples and not eat i'm like you know time to move you to homo milk and she took it from day one she loves her milk she's always asking for milk side note though don't overdo it with the milk because you'll start notice that her poop it becomes like a white ashy thing i had to find out the hard way that it comes with excess homo milk, so it's excess fat, the livers can handle all that breaking down process, so poop end up ashy. Winning my babies have nothing to do with lack of cuddles. I mean, they have, if anything, they have more cuddles now that I'm more sane. I don't have to be breastfeeding all day. I feel like breastfeeding took a whole chunk of my day. And being here doing everything by ourselves here, it takes a toll. Believe it or not, it does. I chose to breastfeed because I felt like that. that's what was right for my kids. I could have stopped at six months. I chose to continue until one but no more than that. I also went back to work and well, pumping at work is not an option. Not that it's not available, it's just not an option for me because well, in my line of work, we don't have a fridge sitting there waiting for our lunches and our breast milk, okay? Also, now I get to wear better bras. <laughs> well, with breastfeeding for me, I have to go with my babies everywhere I need to go. So, well, definitely drinking was a no-no for me because I would forget to pump and dump. That, uh, keep buying formula why when at one they can have homo milk why i don't know i feel like i'm just putting myself through extra work after weaning there's the inevitable engorgement happening so i've had that with the last two kids i've had a few home natural remedies like metzi is a natural relaxer so it will relax you and you can pump a little bit out but i was always worried that pumping would bring in even more milk so I never really pumped it out. I just expressed some milk in hot shower, you know, just to relieve the pain sensation. And 
One thing I recently found out is warm cabbage leaves. Put it on there and it soothes everything. So you can try that. Ice pack works, so you can put it everywhere that's, you know, sore. And give it a few days, it's just gonna go away. It's just, you know, your boobs is trying to adjust with the new current situation. I wanna confirm, yes, all three of my babies are weaned. I loved it, I enjoyed every, well, not, I, I'd be lying <laughs> if I say I enjoyed every moment of it. In the beginning it was rough. But I enjoy breastfeeding my kids, just like I enjoy being pregnant. But now it's time to move on to other stages. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, I will talk to you later. Subscribe if you haven't already. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me some feedback in the comment section below. And I will see you next time. Bye.